if you can choose your gender, can you choose your race? Bro, that is like the most brilliant question ever. That's actually a good conversation. You know, we in the generation where, oh, be who you are. If you was born in the wrong body, God make mistakes. That's how, that's what people think. They think that God makes mistakes and things like that. So they feel like, oh, I was born in the wrong body. I was this. I was supposed to be this. I was supposed, bro, how you know what you're supposed to be? You were supposed to be what you came as. That's what you're supposed to be. So if you came as a woman, you were supposed to be a woman. Like, bro, y'all, people are so stupid. But anyways, uh, I just thought this right here was a very great conversation to have. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. But without further ado, we finna go ahead and get right into the video. Let's go ahead and check this out, man. What's up guys, Aldo here with PragerU. Today I'm at UCLA to ask students about blackface and this new phenomenon of woman face. Why is it socially acceptable to be transgender, but not transracial? Let's go find out. I wanna show you a couple pictures of prominent figures rocking blackface and get your reaction to it. Is that all right? Um, very interesting. I did not, okay. Uh, this is Rachel Dolezal, who was a president of a chapter of NAACP, who identified as transracial. She said that she was born in the wrong body and that she identified as black. This is Ted Danson at the front. Bro, all she did was sit in the sun for about five hours and became an orange. <laughs> That's exactly what she did. I don't know what that is. That is okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> this is why you just need to be who you was born as, cause you people, y'all went from decent looking to hideous. Like you people are sick. But bro, all she did was sit in the sun. She just went to the beach and sat in the sun and did this. She just basically got a tan. That's all she did. I don't, I don't see no black in this at all, but anyways. Who was a president of a chapter of NAACP who identified as transracial. She said that she was born in the wrong body and that she identified as black. This is Ted Danson at the Friars Club Roast in New York City. Uh, this is Sarah Silverman in blackface on her TV show. Yeah. What do you think of when you see these images? <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's really bad. Do you think people can identify as a certain race? No, I do not believe you can identify as a certain race. So do you think identifying as a different race is offensive? Um, this is a very good question. I, I think, I don't know. You can't become something that is recognized off of skin color if you weren't on skin color your whole right, life. Right, because it's biological. Mm -hmm. Do you think that people who claim transracial are making a mockery of real black people? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now we're, now we're going to talk about woman face. Have you guys heard the term woman face? No. Have you heard this term? So this is men who identify as women and then they, they benefit socially and financially from many cases. Do you guys know D Dylan Mulvaney? No. no. So he transitioned and after he transitioned to a woman, he has millions of dollars in brand deals. You have Leah Thomas, who has William Thomas, ranked very low on the swimmer scoreboards. After transitioning, was number one in the country. It's, it's both to me that you reek benefits for something you're not. I think that is a completely different story. Being transgender is something where you can genuinely be born with different biological features or whatever, and that doesn't contribute to gender or like societal. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm so sick of, I'm sick of you college students. What's the point of going to college if you ain't gonna learn? Like, I'm just, I'm just so sick of like, bro. You just sat there and said, bro, let's go back to her last response. Okay, what was her last response? Let's. Let's see if I can find her last response. This is what she said about the whole blackface thing. This is what she said right here. Let's go right here. No, you can't become something that is recognized off of skin color if you weren't on skin color your whole right, life. Right, because can't be. If you want that skin color your whole life, you can't become something recognized off of skin color. Okay, but you just said it's okay to be transgender, right? All trans race and transgender is the same thing. They are being what they think they were supposed to be. It's the same freaking thing. So how is it different? How is it different? It, it's not different. It's not different at all. First of all, I think it's stupid because if you become a transgender, I, I, I hope you guys know that uh, if you are a man, you will always be physical, physically a man. You will never be a real woman. I'm going to say how it is. You will never be a real woman. If you are a man and you transgender to a woman, you will never be a real woman. Why? Because guess what? Brother, you were still born with your X Y chromosome. Look, bro, it ain't gonna change. Your chromosome ain't gonna change. It, it's... Oh man, y'all gonna y'all gonna make me get a heart attack in here, bro. I'm just saying, chromosomes don't change, bro. Seriously, 
You can get everything chopped off, everything. You will still be a man, bro. You won't be able to produce. You won't be able to have periods. You won't be able to do none of that thing. So you know why? Because you're not a real woman. You're not a real woman. You can't compete in women's sports. You know why? Because you're not a real woman. And you people who want to change y'all race, bro, that's stupid. That is stupid. How how you going to say, why oh, I, I feel like I was born in the wrong body. I was supposed to have been black. If both of your parents is white, guess what you supposed to be? Freaking white. I, oh, oh, my gosh. I, I, oh, Lord. Boy, this made me want to get a drink. A, a drink? Seriously. It's biological. Mm -hmm. Do you think that people who claim transracial are making a mockery of real black people? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so now we're, now we're going to talk about woman face. Have you guys heard the term woman face? No. Have you heard this term? So this is men who identify as women and then they, they benefit socially and financially from many cases. Do you guys know D Dylan Mulvaney? No. no. So he transitioned and after he transitioned to a woman, he has millions of dollars in brand deals. You have Leah Thomas, who has William Thomas, ranked very low on the swimmer scoreboards. After transitioning, was number one in the country. It's, it's bullshit to me that you reek benefits for something you're not. I think that is a completely different story. Being transgender is something where you can genuinely be born with different biological features or whatever, and that doesn't contribute to gender or like societal norms at all. I think those are two completely different things. Is woman face offensive? I don't think that's woman face. I think those are people who were born in the wrong bodies who are becoming <gasps> themselves. So if oh, you are so contradicting, you're contradicting yourself. Dude, you're literally contradicting yourself. I can't. If you can identify with a different gender, why can't you identify with a different race? The biological side of it, because race has no biological connections whatsoever. It's purely based off of physical appearances. I just asked you if it was biological. You said yes. Is recognized off of skin color. If you weren't that skin color your whole right, life. Right, because it's biological. Mm -hmm. Or I mean, sex has has biological backings, but gender is not. Gender is a spectrum. Why is it socially acceptable to be transgender, but it's not socially acceptable to be transracial? Um, I think it, I think that's a, like, they're very different things. Um, I think that, like, I I don't know how to phrase this in a way, but I, it, that, I would say, like, is, I wouldn't say I'm educated enough to um, have the proper definition of, like, separating the two. But what about like how Rachel Dolezal, she, that she said that she was born in the wrong body, that she really... Did, did this woman just say she's not educated enough? You in college! You in college! How, what? You... What you just... Oh my gosh, bro. This, this is ridiculous. I don't think I'm educated enough. Bro, guess what, guys? It's not about being educated. It's just common sense. Guys, it's common sense. It's common freaking sense. You put two to two together, and you get one, okay? Two plus two is four. I almost said one. Oh man, this is making me lose brain cells. I kid you not, I almost just said one, bro. That was gonna be embarrassing. I literally almost just said two plus two is one. <sighs> he is black. Why is that any different than being born in the wrong body and being a woman or a man? I don't know how to explain it, but I know that it is. I feel like people, they have the freedom to do what they want. Is that an endorsement of transracialism? Kind of got me, huh? Do you see the hypocrisy here? I do see the hypocrisy, but I don't think the hypocrisy is like, I'm not trying, how do I phrase this? No, Maybe it's like, if I want to be a dragon, I can just be a dragon or something. Why is it socially acceptable for people to identify as a different gender, but it's not socially acceptable for people to identify as a different race? Hmm. Well, I don't know, that's a great question. I hear a lot of people on this campus today say, that say, the black face is wrong, but the woman face is totally acceptable. Why is there a double standard for race and gender? Dad, I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. You know why? You know why it is? Because it's black face. That's that's why. Let it would have been. Let it would have been a black guy, and and say, oh yeah, I want to be white or something like that, bro. Oh my gosh, everybody would have like, bro. It would have been okay. It would have been acceptable. It would have been fine. He could be who he is. He could be who. Like, bro, it would have been all cool. It's because, bro, 
society, they go with what the media puts out there, bro. They go with the agenda, bro. That's what society do, bro. They go with the agenda. Everything is an agenda, bro. I kid you not, bro. This is ridiculous. You people are contradicting yourself. Y'all are y'all are hypocrites. One minute you say it's wrong to trans race. The next minute you're saying it's okay to a transgender. Bro, both of them is bogus. Both of them is wrong. You shouldn't want to be something that you wasn't born as. You can't tell me that, oh, um, I feel like I was supposed to be black. Like, no, you have two white parents. Guess what you came at as? Bro, you have two black parents. Guess what you're going to come out as? You know what? Bro, when you when you, when you you sat in the hospital, well, not you, but when your parents sat in the hospital and, and, the, and, and they was rubbing your pop, mama belly and they, they try to they see all the little things that's going on in the belly or I don't know nothing about this stuff because I never had a kid. However, they said, oh, you are having a boy. Oh, you are having a girl. They didn't say, oh, you're having a transgender. Oh, no, you're having a boy, but uh, he got a couple of female features. No, they didn't say none of that goofy stuff. Like, bro, it. <sighs> Musa, 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 Musa. All right. I need to hurry up because my camera's finna die. But anyways. I don't know. I don't know either. Well, you guys, that is a wrap here at UCLA. Definitely an interesting one here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And man, shout out, to, shout out to him, man. Shout out to him, bro. You know what I'm saying? This was actually a very interesting thing because some of you people are really, some of you people need Jesus. I, I should really hand some of you people a Bible and say, hun, just read it for a minute. Okay, I've been putting scriptures in the beginning of my video. Some of y'all need to really read those scriptures because it may help you. You know what I'm saying? It may help you a little bit. It may help you with your common sense. It may help you with your wisdom because some of y'all are not wise. This lady said, I'm not educated enough. Bro, you are in college. It doesn't matter education or not. Bro, I don't have no college degree, and guess what? I already know the answer to these questions. Why? Because it's common sense. It's common sense. I told y'all common sense not free. That's why when I make that little poll and I said, uh, what what is what what should be free but isn't? I put common sense on there because some of y'all people just don't have it. Y'all really just don't have it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Do you feel like you can choose your gender? And not your race? Or do you feel like both of them is like equal? Do you feel like both of them is different? Do you feel like both of them is just flat out wrong? Y'all let me know in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. We on the ground, baby. We on the ground. I'm going to try to be posting three, four videos a day. I'm going to try. Don't mark my word. Don't know if that's going to happen. I should never said it because I don't know if it's going to happen. But hey, it is what it is. We still on the ground, baby. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.